starting in the 2030s, uh, we will actually extend our neocortex in the cloud. Our neocortex is where we do our thinking. It's a hierarchical structure, and at the very top of the hierarchy, we've got things like love and poetry and irony and humor. So we, we once expanded our neocortex before when we became humanoids and we developed these large foreheads. Uh, other primates have a slanted brow. The forehead, which is the frontal cortex and is responsible for higher level thinking like art and poetry, is actually not qualitatively different. It's just an additional quantity of neocortex. But now we had enough neocortex to take care of our basic needs and we could actually devote some to thinking these higher level thoughts. That additional quantity of neocortex was the enabling factor for us to invent language and art and science. And we're going to expand it again, basically by expanding into the cloud, by sending nanobots into the brain, which will basically just be communicators to the cloud, and then we can have a sort of a neocortex extension in the cloud. The cloud is pure information technology. It's doubling in power every year. So more and more of our thinking will be in the cloud. And if you remember what happened the last time we expanded a neocortex, we took this qualitative leap. We're going to take another qualitative leap as we expand our thinking into the cloud. And over time, more and more of our thinking will be in the cloud. You certainly go out 100 years, let alone 200, it'll be almost all in the cloud. We'll still have biological bodies because these old technologies don't go away instantly, but We'll be able to create bodies with nanobot swarms when we need them. We won't be limited to just this biological body, and we won't be limited to just our biological thinking.